number 23. How many lines per centimeter are there on a diffraction grating that gives a first order maximum for 700, 400, excuse me, and 70 nanometer blue light at an angle of 25 degrees? So first of all, given the information, I know what the question is, but given the information, it sounds like I can calculate the distance, right? Between the slits, basically. Uh, this is constructive, so I'm using the constructive formula over here. And this is going to be the distance between the slits of the lines is equal to then the sine of the angle multiply, uh, equals, excuse me, the uh, order multiplied then by the wavelength. So I'm going to solve this for D. Simply divide out the sine of theta then. All right. And now what happens here is all we have to simply do is plug it in. The first order max M is one. The wavelength they told us is 470, but you know we need that in terms of meters. And then divide that now by the sine of the angle. Okay. And that's 25. All right. Technically you don't need it in meters in this case, but you know, I'm just going to convert it there. So seven, uh, 470 times 10 to the minus 7th, what? Times 10 to the minus 9th, divided by sine of 25. So the distance here is about 1.11 times 10 to the minus 6th, all right? And that's basically now meters, okay? So this is like meters per line or so, okay? Now they want centimeters, first of all. So convert this to centimeters, right? Just take that and multiply it by then one, uh, excuse me, Take that and then, yeah, multiply it by 100, right? So that's just going to be 1.11 times 10 to the minus fourth now, centimeters. So this really represents centimeters per line. But what we want to do and find is lines per centimeter. So all you got to do is literally just flip this thing. I just got to flip a root. So it's, it's really 1 over now, 1 over 1.11 times 10 to the minus fourth centimeters lines up here. Now watch, when you do this in the calculator... Right, so just take that, multiply it by 100, then do 1 divided by that value. So we get a value here of about 8,992 if you consider the rounding. But if you consider the sig figs, there should be a 0 there. All right, eh, you know, nobody really cares, but whatever. So this is then the number of lines, all right, or slits, basically, um, lines per centimeter. Okay, so that would then be the final answer. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. All right, check out some more of our videos. We've got a whole bunch of other subjects covered, and we'd love to help you out with some of your other classes. All right, hopefully make your life a little easier. We'll see you soon. Take care.